Okay, dear student, let's see what is there in this question. A block of mass 45 kgs is placed on the horizontal table. There is no friction between the block and the table. An object of mass 15 kg is placed on the top of the block. A force F acts on the block so that it accelerates. The acceleration of the object and the acceleration of the block are the same so that they do not move relative to each other. So both of these uh, bodies, they are just acting as if they are clinging to each other. They are tied with each other. So they are literally uh, moving like the single body. The coefficient of static friction between the block and the object block and the object is 0 0.6 the state the nature and the direction of the force that accelerates 15 kg object now according to newton you see what is the trouble here in these kind of questions the trouble is there are two different bodies we have applied force on 45 kg block now according to newton until the force is applied on your body the body cannot move if the body is at rest it will not take up its velocity by its own that is the newton's first law so in this case, clearly, we can see that the force is applied on the second body, but the first body is also moving along with it, although it's literally not tied with the body. So why is there no relative motion in the first place? It means that this body is also experiencing a force. How is that possible? The force is applied only on 45 kg. So 15 kg is not like we are not applying force on, there, on that thing. So what is the mechanism through which the force is transferred to 15 kg. That is what is the question. So this interface is having no friction. So we are not talking about it. But here there is a friction. First of all, we have to find the friction. Now uh, the static friction is given as 0 0.6. So the maximum static friction that can happen. So we are always concerned with the limiting cases like the maximum possible value because after that the relative motion will be set. So that will be mu into m into g i'm just taking it as 10 although it is not given anywhere that you have to take 10 so it becomes uh 80 no 90 so it is coming out to be 90 uh newtons that's very big one moment am i calculating it right uh, mu mg so 15 kg into 10 into the mu yeah that 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 should be right so 90 kg is the newton 90 newton is the force which is the friction force it means that uh, uh, this friction is acting on this block but where is this friction acting actually this body 45 kg tries to slide down from the 15 kg it tries to slide there but it is not able to slide properly so for 45 kg the friction is acting backward because it is trying to go in the forward direction for 15 kg the same amount of friction is acting in the positive direction this friction and this friction they create action reaction pair which are equal and opposite in direction and they're acting on two different bodies that is why they cannot cancel each other so this friction is acting on the 15 kg now the question is state the nature and the direction of the force that accelerates 15 kg. So the nature of this is friction. It is the friction force. The direction of the friction force is it towards right and it is positive like that. So this is the direction that we are using here. So that is the nature and the direction because of which the 15 kg is moving. Is that clear? Now, the next question is, determine the largest magnitude, determine the largest magnitude of the force F for which the block and the object do not move relative to each other. So we are now interested in creating a limit on this force that what is the uppermost limit or the what is the maximum force which you can apply without creating the rift between the two, without creating the relative motion between the two. So we know that the friction is 90. So I've lit, clearly written it, it is the maximum possible friction. So the bodies cannot have a friction more than 90 Newton. So if the force which is acting on 15 kg, it becomes bigger than 90, definitely the contact will be breaking down. How to find that? So let's say that F is the force there and the total mass is 45 plus 15. So I can find the acceleration. So that will be F divided by 45 plus 15. So F divided by 60 meter per second square becomes the acceleration, 
which will be given to both of the bodies if the force f is there and both of the bodies are uh, moving in contact with each other they are not moving relatively both of the bodies are acting if they are tied to each other so the total acceleration is this now if i concentrate only and only on this 15 kg and you say that 15 kg is undergoing the acceleration a which is given by this so i can find the f dash force which might be assumed to be acting on 15 kg if this mass has to move with an acceleration of 5 by f by 60 so what is this force so this force will be m into the acceleration which is 60 so 15 i think forza 60 yeah f by 4 it means that out of this force f let's say everything is okay we have not crossed the limits both of the bodies are moving in contact with each other they are not having relative motion so the f is f by 4 so one fourth of the force is taken up by the 15 kg now this force which is acting on 15 kg should not be more than 90 newton if it will be more than 90 newton then it will be carried away you know like that so f by 4 should be less than or equal to 90 so f should be less than or equal to 9 4 36 360 that is the f and this is equal to like f is equal to uh uh yeah that's it f is less than 360 so that will be our answer that the force has to be lesser than 360 newton so this is the right answer dear students so this is how we do it determine the largest magnitude of f so f cannot be more than 360 newton otherwise the contact will break down so this is how we do this question all the best